So the down payment, 1,725 times 0 0.3. 3 0, but 0 0.3 the same thing. All right. All right. Um, that becomes, let me get my calculator ready here. Desmos. Desmos is, let's see, 1725 times 0.3. 1725 times 0 0.3. $517.50. So let's see, Maya, put down 517 and 50. the amount financed, well, what's the amount of money that Maya is going to pay monthly in installments until she finishes paying it off? What is that amount, the amount financed? Well, this minus that. So the, yesterday we went over the amount financed. AF is equal to the cash price, the total price is $17.25 minus 51750. Okay, here we go. 1725. 1200. Oops. 1050 cents. Huh? So Maya is going to have to pay 1,207.50 bit by bit in months. I'm not sure how, whatever the, the, loan, the loan period is, we don't know how long, maybe one year, two years, I don't know. But that's the amount of finance. She's gonna pay off bit by bit. Cool. Here's the game plan. This is the monthly payment formula. You're gonna put it in the middle box. I'm just kind of magnifying it right now so you guys can see it from your seat. Put it right there in the middle box, okay? Monthly payment equals PR times one plus R to the nth power over one plus R to the nth power minus one. This looks very familiar because remember we did this with the annuities. You see that compound interest idea going on there. So we're gonna copy that down, nice and neat in the middle. Okay, let's first define P. What does a P mean? Here we go. So on this one, put P equals the principal or loan amount. I'll put loan amount or principal. It means the same thing. How much you're borrowing. That's what P means. We have one, two, three, three variables we're going to define. Okay. What does the R mean? Let's put R on top. R is equal to the rate per pay period. Which is really the APR, it's a fraction. Remember the fraction? The decimal divided by, remember when we did the annuities is how many, uh, how much was the interest compounded each year? This time it's now APR divided by number of payments per year. Number of payments. Per year. So 
So it's going to be a fraction. R will be a fraction. It'll be the, the interest rate as a decimal divided by the number of payments per year. Again, we're going to figure out how much percent is going to be, how many times a year he's going to be paying. If it's monthly, that's 12 times a year. Okay? The N, I'll put the N on the left here. It's our last variable. N is equal to the number of payments to pay off the loan. Number of payments. Number of payments to pay off the loan. So remember, 36 months is three years. That means you'll have to make 36. N would be 36 because you'll be you pay 36 times to pay off the loan. 72 months. That 70 N would be 72 times you pay off the loan. I just want to define what finance charge is. We're going to see this word finance charge. Well, we know what financing means. It means a bank allows you to pay it off month by month so you're done paying off the, the loan. A finance charge equals, ready? The finance charge equals the loan minus the total repaid total repaid and we'll get we'll get to that in a little while the loan minus the total repaid charge equals loan minus total repaid. Let me put that minus a little bigger. Minus. The loan minus total repaid. Okay. Let's figure out how much percentage is going to be paying per month. I'm going to give him the down payment though. Let's see. I'll give him some money for a down payment. Let's go back to CarMax. So here we go. The Kia GT was again? Stinger? Yeah. There we go. Stinger GT2. And what color do you want? White, huh? Yeah. All right, here we go. So what is he gonna be paying a month? Let's see, here we go. So I'm gonna give him a down payment of $10,000. Um, notice, if he pays in 72 months, he stretches out the life of the loan, he'll be paying smaller amounts a month. But if he, if he makes it shorter, let's say five years, that's 60 months. 12 times 5 is 60. He'll be paying more per month. So the smaller amount of time, obviously you're going to be paying more per month. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give him $10,000 as a down payment. Okay? And it's going to be for 60 months. One way right now, it? So notice, the price is $36,998 for this Kia. We're going to put the down, pay, the down payments. Look at the amount. We still have to add the, the tax titles and fees. That's like from the state. You have to add to the price. So price minus down payment plus tax titles and fees. Here's the amount financed, 31,598. 31,598. 
that he's gonna pay off in 60 months. Now, what percent is he gonna, we're gonna give him? Well, it depends on his credit. Do you have good credit? Or you don't have any credit? Right now? Yeah, you don't have any credit on. So he's gonna get like a 9% interest rate because he has no credit. So I'm gonna give him a 9% interest rate. We're gonna pay it off in 60 months. And this is the amount financed. Look at what's highlighted in blue. He's gonna borrow from the bank $31,598. So let's do it, here we go. I'll keep that screen there. So let's see, you have some space, I think. You could do this on the bottom in the white space. We're gonna do Bresenio's car purchase or on the back side. Okay, so let's call this, this first example is Bresenio's car purchase, if you don't mind, Bresenio. I'm gonna put it on you. I'm gonna put it on the video. Do you mind if I use your name or is it okay? Uh, you're, I don't mind. You sure? I put to give you some other name. That's all right. All right, here we go. Bresanios car purchase. Let me write down the formula now. What's his monthly payment gonna be after 60 months? Here we go. PR times. Here we go. Write this down. So on the space below or in the back side, here we go. Uh, I'll put monthly payment, MP, equals P times R times 1 plus R to the nth power divided by 1 plus R to the nth power minus 1. Let's see what they're saying who's going to be paying. If you run out of room, just use the back side. All right. So what's the loan amount? How much is he going to be borrowing from the bank here? What is Kia? Thirty-one thousand. Right. Thirty-one five ninety-eight. That's our P value, right, Ortega? So P, I'm gonna replace in red here. So 31,598, that's our P. Now what's my R? So the R, let's go back up here to our notes. The R is the rate per period, which is the APR, the annual percentage rate, which is gonna be 9% because he has no credit, divided by the number of payments per year. So we're gonna give him a 9% interest rate and that's gonna be divided by how many times per year he's gonna be paying. If he's paying monthly, how many times a year is he be paying a, uh, a year? 12. 12, so check it out. So I got P is done times R. So R is gonna be a fraction, it's gonna be 0 .09, because we're giving a 9% interest rate, divided by 12, look at that. Remember our decimals calculator is gonna do the work for us, so we don't have to stress out. It's easy stuff times one plus, watch this now, R again, 0 0.09 divided by 12. Close that parenthesis to the nth power. What does N mean again, somebody? What does N mean? Anybody? How many payments do you have to pay to pay off a loan? Let me go back to that Kia picture. How many payments is he gonna make? Sixty, huh? Because look at the loan amount, the term length is sixty months. He'll pay off this loan in sixty months, which is five years. That sixtieth payment, you're done. With, you're, the car's yours. You don't. You owe no, no more money. So it's gonna take you sixty months, five years. So, n is 60. Look at the 60th power. He'll pay it off in 60 months. Divided by, the rest is the same, look at. One plus r, we already know what r is, is 0 0.09 divided by 12. Again, we're just gonna punch this in the calculator, let the calculator do all the work. We're in the 21st century, we have beautiful calculators now to the 60th power, minus one. Woo! Now 
when you go to a car dealer, the computer does this all for them. It puts in your down payment, the interest rate, and it does that calculation. But now you know the formula. You see it right in front of your face, how they figure out how much a month you're going to pay. There it is, right in front of you. Let me get my Desmos calculator out. We'll be rocking and rolling. Questions so far, though? Let's see what the is going to pay per month. Here we go. Watch me do it. I'm just going to type all that in my decimals calculator. It's as simple as that. 31598 times, let's put the, the parenthesis, because that automatically means times. 0.09 divided by 12. Close that parenthesis. Oops. No, look what it did. It put the parenthesis around that 12. That's a mistake. I want to close the whole division problem. So let me backspace, click to the right, then close it. Now we're looking good. Now that nasty, so let me get put another parenthesis now. 1 plus 0.09 divided by 12. Click, close that parenthesis to the 60th power. There's a power button, A to the B power, 60. Let me click to the side now to get it out of the power mode, the exponent mode. Division. I'm letting the calculator do everything, so now I'm going to do the denominator now. What I could at this point do is just copy and paste to save time. Look at, I'll copy and paste this part because this isn't the denominator right here. Look at, copy, paste. Minus one. Hey, I think Bresenio can afford this. Bresenio has to pay per month for six for five years six hundred and fifty five dollars and ninety two cents. He's paying like <clears throat> forty bucks more for the diploma. Like six well, the studies. Okay, and how much uh for how long was the loan? Five years, six, six years? Six years. Okay, so Tacoma is a lot more than 36,000. That's probably why. Yeah, because I think they, and get, it, they get it with like five, five, six cents. Oh, yeah, the debt. So there you go. That's the board. This is a 9%. That's, that's a high interest rate. In other words, the bank's making a lot of money off of you. Once you're done paying it off, they, they, you, you'll see how much money they made off of you. Watch. Good. I'm glad you brought that up. So Presenio is going to be paying six fifty five ninety two. So here we go. Put 655.92. So he financed this car for 60 months, five years, every month. He'll pay, he'll fork up 655.92 every month. So let's see. So we're done officially, that's his monthly payment. Well, let's just see what the finance charge is. In other words, finance charge is, watch. Ah. What's right here? The finance charge is really what the bank makes off of Resenio. Because he's fine. Remember, finance. We the finance is paying off a loan monthly. What is the charge? What are they going to make off of him? Well, it's the it's the loan minus the total repaid. Let me show you. Follow me. So we're officially done with that Bresenio's example. But now let's let's figure out the finance charge. I'm gonna put it in green for money. Because the bank's making money off this guy, man, especially with a 9% interest rate. Look how much the money they make off him. So I'm going to write finance charge. How much is the bank charging Bresenio to finance this, this car, this Kia? It's going to be the loan amount, the loan, minus the total repaid. How much did they lend him? Anybody? 
How much did they lend him? Right here. This, they lent him this amount. Remember to pay off the Kia? So that's going to go right there, the loan. So 31 598 Minus the total repaid. How many months are you going to pay it again? 60. So look what I would do. I'm going to take the 655 92 and I'm going to multiply that by 60 months. How much is he going to pay total? Let's see. I'll do it for us. Here we go. 60, 655, 92. And he's going to do it for five years, which is 60 months. $39,355.20. And I must confess, my coffee didn't kick in. The finance charge is the other way around. It's the total repaid minus the loan. So cross that out, put total repaid minus the loan. Forgive me. Just cross that out on your notes. The other way around. My coffee didn't kick in. I trust you guys can forgive me. Total repaid. Brescenio, after 60 months, paid $39,355.20, but he was only he only borrowed $31,598 five years ago. Let's see how much money the bank made off of you. Let me just subtract those two. I'll put FC, finance charge. Here we go. Thirty-nine thousand three fifty-five twenty cents minus the loan amount was thirty-one five ninety-eight. So, for allowing Rescindio to borrow the money, they made seven thousand seven hundred fifty-seven dollars and twenty cents off of him. They made this for letting him borrow the money at nine percent interest. Seven thousand. 757 and 27. The bank made some money off of Brescenio Bay. Hey, he got the car he wanted. I hope it's still running after five years. That's the thing with financing. You better pay, you better find a good car. You don't you don't want the car to start breaking down while you're still paying payments on it. That's like the worst. Because then you gotta pay for your own maintenance and you're paying still paying the car off. So make sure the car you buy and you're gonna finance it, that thing's gonna last. Because that's a that's a that's a some depressing times. So you're still paying like you buy the gas insurance and like you get somebody to like a friend to crash into your car and like total it. Like you lie about it, and like you end up not paying the car. So in other words, being dishonest and wicked and evil. Well, good job, Rosanna. I'm so proud of you. It's a bank, Mister. It's not like they don't have enough money.